In 2005, Wharton business professor Adam Grant was curious to see whether helping employees find meaning in their job would improve their performance. It's one thing to say that meaning makes a difficult job easier to tolerate, but does it have any effect on an employee's productivity? For his subjects, Grant chose a group of university telemarketers tasked with raising alumni donations. They were not a particularly motivated bunch. At the time, turnover was at a staggeringly high 400%, meaning that the average employee remained on staff for about three months. Grant's solution was a 10-minute intervention in which callers got to meet a student who had received a university scholarship and had therefore benefited from their work. During the meeting, employees had the opportunity to personally interview the recipient and were able to hear firsthand how his life had changed as a result of winning the award. How much of an effect could a 10-minute meeting possibly have? One month later, Grant returned to the call center and reviewed the numbers. The results were astonishing. Telemarketers in Grant's intervention doubled their calls per hour and generated 171% more in weekly revenue. Their job was exactly the same as it had been a month earlier. The only thing that had changed was that they now had compelling evidence of the impact of their work. This is quoted from the book, The Best Place to Work, The Art and Science of Creating an Extraordinary Workplace, written by Ron Friedman. The interesting implication for leaders is that connecting employees with their end user can have a powerful motivating effect. The attitudes of employees who work with meaning in their work and those who don't are clearly different. Because humans are essentially meaning-seeking beings, leaders should never forget that it is one of their core roles to make sure that members clearly understand the meaning of their work.